Welcome back. The future version of Android, that is Android 13, has landed, which means that anyone running a Pixel 4 and above can install the new software. If you're ready to try out the latest developer preview, then stick till the end. And those who are watching, make sure to subscribe for more tech updates. Let's begin. What new features will be coming with Android 13? Despite that it's a bit too early, a healthy amount of rumors and leaks has already made its way. And here's everything. Starting with Android 12, Google introduced support for themed icons on Android 12. However, it was limited just to Google apps at the moment. With Android 13, Google is making dynamic color themed icons available for all app icons. Google says, Theme third-party icons will first arrive on Pixel phones, to check its performance. Ever wondered why you can't set different languages, for different apps? Guess what? Google has been on the same page, as Android 13 will seemingly allow you to change languages, on per app basis, and have your phone's interface in a different language. However, the corresponding app needs to have the necessary language strings enabled, in order for the panlinguistic feature to work as expected. Surely, this feature would come in quite handy to multilingual Android users, or just those trying to learn a new language. Starting with Android 13, Google is expected to introduce runtime permissions for notifications. In other words, the apps will have to request permission from the user before sending notifications, much like how other permissions, like location and microphone access are handled on Android today. The idea is to help users make a cautious decision whether they'd like to receive notifications from an app. Will this solve Android spam notifications problem? To an extent, but not really. The developer preview is a pre-alpha software. There will be bugs and stability issues, so keep that in mind before proceeding. This is actually meant for developers to test their apps, not for end users to run as a daily driver. Still, if you're curious about what's coming to Android phones, and if you have a spare Pixel device to test it on, then here's how to install Android 13 on your Pixel. Initially, go to the Android Flash tool. Make sure you have the Android USB drivers installed, if applicable. You will also need a Chrome browser. Next, open settings on your Pixel, then scroll down to About Phone. Scroll down to find the build number, then tap it until you see a prompt that you activated developer options. Go back to settings, then to system. You'll see developer options near the bottom. Tap that. In the developer options, toggle on OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Connect your phone to your PC. Select your pixel from the menu and accept the ADB request on your phone. Follow the instructions that the Android Flash tool gives out. You'll need to accept the bootloader unlock and lock requests on your pixel, but the tool will tell you when input is needed. Let the Android Flash tool complete the process, and then, boot into Android 13. Was this video useful? If yes, comment below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.